How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches Dating. I can tell you a little bit about dating, but we'll be here a while. It's all about making an impression, you know? All about getting inside our head and saying, he is the one. And how'd you do that? Take to a nice place, dress to impress, impress in general. And if all that fails, you just move on to the next one. But if you're not willing to put your hand in your pocket, that can usually lead you to lack of effort. Today, guys, we're going to be watching another cheapskate video from the uh, Extreme Cheapskate series. And it's called The World's Cheapest Date. This cheapskate is about to take a woman on a date, and I'm assuming... It's not loaded this space. It's good. It's okay. Linda! This problem should be fixed a year ago. A year ago. So this cheapskate is going to take this woman out on a date, and we're going to assess and review him taking her out on a date, pretty much. Let's watch the video! It looks like Logan Paul got a new job. I mean, look, looks happy now, nowadays, doesn't he? Having a good old juggle. <laughs> my name's Greg Insko. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. And what the fuck is that? Is, is he wearing a tutu? And jumping around in front of young women? I'm a Zumba dance instructor. And I no, you're not. No, no. This is not Zumba. I'm a Zumba dance instructor. That's not Zumba. That's some made up shit. He's not. He's not. You're telling me that all these women, right, they, they got up in the morning, they went to work, nine till five, probably working a second job as well, you know, things are expensive nowadays, and they decided to invest their spare money in his Zumba class. Wearing a t-shirt saying sexy and I know it. Okay, all right. Hey. I'll drive in a car like that. I, I don't think you are. What's the catch? I'll do a clinical study anytime I can because those pay really good money. I really wanted to buy this lowrider and I had to get $3,500 somehow. $3,500 to make your car bounce. And he's a cheapskate, really? Really lucky. The clinical study that I found online was paying the same amount. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt. Um, what? Sorry? You did. You did what now? I had to put uh, ointment in my butt. Um, <clears throat> all right. Wait, wait! I'm here every day editing and all I gotta do is put some cream up my ass and I can get a car. The bounces. I, I do. I do feel I'm in the wrong game sometimes. Linda! Book me an appointment to have cream put up my ass! <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God I don't have an assistant. I got a car out of it, so it was well worth it. I'll do anything to make a buck. Clearly! From thumbs up ass to everything. Just use the window squeegees and you can really wash your whole car with it. No, you can't. You can't. Because it'll just smear it. And is you see me doing that, that shit? That's because he's rubbing that rubber all over the car and it's gonna squeak. Ah! Ugh! I don't know who would spend money on a car wash when you can wash it yourself right here. You, you, pro you literally just dipped it in like a, a bucket of water. It's not really washing your car, you're just adding more dirt to it. Hi, welcome to my condo. I got pretty lucky. One of the ladies from Zumba said, hey, my grandpa just passed away. Oh, you're so lucky, aren't you? I got real lucky, someone died, and I moved in. You wanna live in our condo for free? In return, I'm supposed to mow her lawn, but you know, you can't beat free rent. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. So someone, someone, one of their relatives died. The condo's empty. In America, they have a chance to make a living, right? You're not just mowing her lawn, are you? No, no, there's some weird shit going on. There's some kinky shit going on there. I'll let you live in my condo if you mow my lawn. <laughs> He's doing more than that to live there rent free. Uh, this is all from when the guy passed away. He left it all here. Are you just living with his old stuff? That's weird, man. I, but again, he's not gonna buy furniture, is he? Because he doesn't want to spend money. I didn't have any furniture, it worked out nice. These are my roommates. We got Raj and Kevin here. It's they look so happy. They, they really look so happy. Why is there a, a why is there a bag in the background with yellow tape wrapped around it? No, no one notices these things, no? Okay, just me. It's painful bringing women back to the apartment. <laughs> You're not bringing women back. <laughs> oh, it's just so hard. All these bitches wanted to come home with me and I just can't bring them back. Apartment because furniture is everything. It's embarrassing. This place definitely smells like old people. What's wrong with his car? 
The butt cream job clearly has not fixed your front axle. Look at that. His car is kneeling down. I don't know how much Greg pays for the apartment, but I do know that Kevin and I pay a pretty fair amount. It's all oh my god. He's living there rent free and charging them rent. What? It's three bedroom condo, so I knew I'd be able to take my roommates with me and uh, charge them rent even though I'm living for free. They're not gonna be your friends for long, pal. When they find out, they, they probably already know and they're stupidly paying you. This is the kitchen. Um, From 1972? Oh god, it's awful. It's so old. There's no point in paying for anything that you should get for free in life. I never spend money on condiments. Anytime you go to a restaurant, just take extra when you're there. And dip what appears to be dog shit in it. Is that, is that a pretzel? Is it one of those salty sticks? What is that? Where'd you find it? I would never pay for paper plates or- No, instead you'd have six-year-old birthday plates. Oh my god. Can't even really wash them. How much is a plate? How much, what, 20p? 20p, a dime? How much is a plate? It's, it's not, it's not worth nothing. Just buy some plates. Your friends are paying you rent. You live there rent free. It's a medical problem, this. To save money on cups, um, I- I'm sorry, what? That's a, that's a yogurt pot. But it's open. And it's upside down. And he's drinking out of it. I'm not mental, am I? I'm, uh, we're seeing this, aren't we? You're seeing the same shit I'm seeing. Look, that's that is a yogurt pot, and that's the entrance. And he's drinking out the the bottom of it. Why? It's not not, not possible. He's, he's just sucking on a yogurt pot. I actually reuse yogurt cups. I got this from my grandma. But if we get a guest, I actually give them the big cup, so uh, it makes them feel special. Oh, I feel so special. Thank you so much for letting me. Sip out of your noodle pot. I <laughs> I feel so honored to be your guest. I don't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher wastes way too much money on electric and water. So I just hand wash. So you just finger them and put them back in the cupboard. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. There's no point in having a bulb inside a refrigerator. Yes, there is. So when you come down at night, you can see. You can see what you're taking out. I gotta make a cheese sandwich, because why the hell not? I don't want to be spreading lard on it, do I? I took the bulb out of the refrigerator. It saves me almost $40 a year in electric. $40 a year. What's that, like two pence a day or something? Uh, this is my closet. When I go shopping, I always leave the tags on the shirt. Where do you go shopping? Under a bridge? And you can just return them later. I paid for them. It's not stealing if you pay for it. I'm living- Yeah, but if you've worn them and sweated in them and done Zumba in them. <laughs> You're not really supposed to return them, are you? In the dream, as soon as I'm done living the dream, I just return it. Biggest money saver in the whole condo is right here in the bathroom. He takes showers with his clothes on. What? He showers with his clothes on? How does he get clean? By washing my clothes in the shower with me, uh, I'm saving at least $15 a month because I don't have to use a washer, a dryer. Oh no. But that, that, that soap isn't getting through to your skin properly. It's not cleaning yourself well. That's like me taking my car to the car wash and just stepping back a few feet and just spitting on it to clean it. It's not- <laughs> There we go. That'll do for a month. <laughs> Take a shower. I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water from me. At the end of the week when I'm ready to flush the toilet- <laughs> At the end of the week, when I'm ready to flush the toy. Look at it! Oh my god. I had some toast earlier. Might be making an appearance in a minute. <clears throat> flush the toilet, you dirty shit! Oh my god. And at least if you're not gonna get. Fuck, you turned me into a morph's code machine. <laughs> if you're not gonna flush it, at least clean it. Look at that! Lord of the Rings in there! Shit! Take that water and pour it directly into the toilet, and that's what causes the toilet to flush. That way I'm not wasting any water. No, we are gonna contract the plague from sitting on that toilet. I like going on free internet dating sites. By far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks and- Oh, you do, unless you want a right munter or a serial killer. Here's one, she likes shopping and wine tasting. <laughs> that's way too expensive. Well, I'm sorry, maybe you should just check the section under bitches who don't want to leave the apartment and won't wash their shit away. I'm sure there's a section where you could find those type of women. Going, homebody, good cook. Oh, she likes camping. Oh. 
Well, yeah, because when that house is no longer his, you're gonna need a tent to live in. She likes long walks. Long walks are free. I like this one. Hi, is Brandy there? What was he calling her on? What is that? Is that a phone? Or a sat nav? Yeah. I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. Nope. Nope. You're not even a cheapskate. You're just insane. I'm taking Brandy to a barbecue restaurant because of- Oh shit. A barbecue restaurant? Take me. I'll date you now. I'll change my opinion of you completely. Take me to a barbecue place! Now! But I'm hoping that she ate earlier so she's not as hungry. Nah. Nah, you see, if you're gonna date me, all right, you gotta eat, all right? None of this bullshit, like, um, I'll have a grain of rice, just cut it in half, throw the other half away, and I'll just eat, <coughs> I'll just eat a grain of rice, followed by some uh, lawn trimmings, just get me some leaves, and uh, I'll just lick them, I won't even eat them, and uh, that'll, that'll be for me. <laughs> No! Hell no! You gotta come out and you're gonna eat. You're gonna eat some shit. Not actually eat, you know, shit, but we're, we're gonna eat, all right? Steaks. Footlongs. All right? That's what I want in a woman, all right? You gotta eat. Uh, you must be Brandy? Yes. I'm Greg. Greg, nice, nice to meet you. you. Oh, God. I hope you like eating what he scraped out from underneath the table, because that's what you're eating today. What do you think of the place? I like it. Pretty cool? Yeah. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. I can tell. I can look. In, I can see. She's not even making eye contact with him. She's just, yeah, I like it. First, first fucking date in a shed. That's wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. I love it. They let you like keep the utensils and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now she knows he's a serial killer. No one gets excited about keeping the utensils. She's just found out that she's having a first date with her potential future husband in a barn. And now, his, the excitement in his life is keeping the utensils. And that's that's the face look. That's the face. It's that fake laugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I first met Greg, he seemed like a nice guy, sweet. Typically, I wouldn't be asked to go on my first date at a barbecue place. Boom! See? Do I not know women? Do I not know them? She's not happy. I'd be happy. Barbecue joint. Mmm. Put a brisket in me. Okay? I'm done. <laughs> How about something to drink? Can I have a sweet tea? Sweet tea. Is sweet tea uh, free refills on that? Oh, God damn it, Lord. I did not just ask that. You can't make her feel like she's doing something wrong by ordering food. It's not, it's not the time. It's not the time to be a cheapskate, my man. Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Tea. So you see that look there? That's the look of, all right, fine. I guess I won't order. Uh, I'm not starving or nothing. Oh, so like you want to like share a meal maybe? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Did you see the kids menu? No, because there's not a kid in sight. There's no children. There's no children. Just two adults that should be eating a meal. All right, let's see. We could get a veggie plate. That's only five fifty. Or you. Oh my God! This is your future, love. Look, see that face? That there? That's that's when she starts tucking her tongue. Here, like. That's when you know they're pissed off. They've had enough. She's now envisioning her future within the five first five seconds of meeting him, and realize that her wedding dress is gonna be a bin liner. <laughs> get the uh, sweet and sour hot sauce for only two ninety five. Let her pick, you psychopath! She's a woman! Full grown woman! She can pick her own shit! I've learned that Greg doesn't like to spend lots of money. There's nothing wrong with it. Just, it's different. Oh man, she's so not calling him back. Have you all made the choice? Uh, Would you like to yes, um, we'll just get a pair of scissors and she'll be eating my armpit hair. <laughs> just gonna take the pulled pork sandwich. All right. It's pretty pulled popular for you here, right? It's very good. Oh, is that pretty good size the pulled pork sandwich? It's a nice portion. Uh like big enough for two probably. Just No, no, no. No, she had her heart, you can see it in her eyes. She had a heart on having her own sandwich. I split that shit. It's usually the other way around. It's usually you go out on a date and then you, you you're like do, do you want anything? Do you want No, nah, it's all right. I I just I just have um I don't know. I have a little salad. I just have a little salad I've eaten. Okay, all right, go, go. And then you go and you order your, your fries and your onion rings and, and then it starts, it starts. Oh, those onion rings look really nice. Can I have one? 
Mm, can I have two? Can I have the fucking lot? Like, and then, and then, she's eating your whole shit! It's like, I offered you. I offered you. Now he's doing the same. He's doing the same thing. No. Get your own sandwich. Alright? I don't want a widge. I want a sand -witch. I want both! This man. This man. Okay. You like uh, a rack of ribs? No, just like one rib. Oh. Did he ask for just one rib? What is, he, is, is, this, is, is this Adam and Eve? Show off. And so it's just, it was different to see him really not care. It was a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, I think at this point she'd rather date a nonce. Here's your food. Pulled Thank pork you. sandwich with a side of mac and cheese. That looks good. Thank you. And here's your one rib. Oh, right. Thank you. Oh, my God. Wow. Some poor farm animal died for that so he could have a rib. Did you want to try some of those? Oh man, that does look good though. Shit. Damn, I want some ribs. More than one as well. So, what else do you do besides save cups and utensils? What else? Ah, <laughs> oh, my dear, I will take you out. You're funny. I like you. Uh, at my condo, like to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I save like. It's exactly what she wanted to hear. It's like the best foreplay I've ever heard. You know, um, I shit and piss all week and I only flush it once. You could have all this. <laughs> right now. Ah, oh, That's not a line that you lead with. What woman is gonna go, Oh, stop! Hold the presses, girlfriend! My man's has a dirty ass. <laughs> Come on! The whole week. And you don't flush. That's pretty disgusting. Oh, tell him. Sister. Sister! Tell him! For me! And definitely, he's a really sweet guy, so I would definitely go out with Greg again. No, you won't. Look at that bye. That's a bye! Bye! Bye, bye, bye! That, you ain't coming back. She's, she's not coming back. She's not coming back. You know what I should do, as I am clearly the master of dating advice? <clears throat> I should do a thing where we, I do like a speed dating thing. And like, I just have people come in and hit me. They got 30 seconds to impress me. <laughs> just 30 seconds. No, we'll do a minute. We'll do it 60 seconds. We'll do a minute. Okay? And then if I'm not interested, then whoop! Swipe a bitch. I should do that. That would be funny. Guys, thank you so much for suggesting this video. I know you guys love these. Like, love, caress my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>